Driver is so easy when you grip like this. Now, I bet you might have heard something similar to that before, but what you've never ever realized is that how, how you stand to the golf ball and the lie angle of your golf club really affects how you grip. And then in turn, whether you leave the face wide open and slice it, or you're hitting great big hooks. So let me today help you hit the golf ball straighter. Welcome to a brand new video here on Alex Elliott Golf. My name's Alex, I'm a PGA Golf professional and top 50 world coach. If you do enjoy this video, please do consider hitting the thumbs up button. It helps me and it helps this video grow. So if you slice the golf ball, you've never thought about it this way. Right, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna show you the launch monitor. We're gonna show you the differences in the face. Now, this is the pattern that I see. I'm gonna make this really, really simple for you to follow here. When we get the shaft really upright like this and our sort of heel off the ground, and then we get quite close to it, it makes our grip very much in the palm. And the reason is, simply, it is just hard to get in the fingers. Like, look at that, right? If I hold the shaft like that, and I try and get it in the fingers, I have to like contort my wrist over in that direction, right? If you think about it this way, if I held the club there and I try to get it in my fingers, it's not very comfortable. So what we do, we resort to comfort and we get it very much in the palm. Now, as you move face on, you're gonna see how this creates a weaker relationship between my glove hand and the club face, resulting in an open face. Even more so, this affects the way we release. Okay, so even if, right, you feel you're gonna try and save it, the likelihood is nine times out of 10, you ain't. You're still gonna leave it open. And the final point, so you can see the importance of this, right? The more you create your lie angle like this, yes, it has more of an effect with shorter clubs and more loft, but the face is more likely to launch that ball to the right. Okay, let's go down the line. I'm gonna hit this one like what we don't want to see. Very much in the palm. Okay, very tall, very upright. Look at this face angle. You can even see my release, that felt awkward. That felt horrible. God, that felt horrible. Have a look at this. 2.5 to the right. I would have been swinging way left, a massive curve. Let's get that point to the left. Let's get you hitting some stronger shots. This is all you got to do. So what do we want? How do we get it? This is it. Also guys, this is a reminder that we have the AE Club. This is a free newsletter that goes on the last Thursday of every single month. Within the newsletter, you get hints and tips how to improve your game, also a downloadable PDF lesson guide to really help you hone in on your skills. So to do that, sign up at the AE Club. Down below is the link. After you've watched this video, make sure you give it a click and join the club where so many others have. Now, bringing this in, it's so easy actually, really. So we mentioned this, right? And all we've got to understand is you want to have a good spine angle to the golf ball, somewhere around there like this, right? Before, when I said the heel was off the ground, the club was like this. So if I hold that up like that and then go in, it's like this. So if I get that club pointing somewhere towards my belly button, right? Somewhere towards my belly button and just tilt over, that's what I want you to have. Look at that club now. Going down low to reference that, if I hold it and don't move it, it is just out of touch of a golf ball, right? So if that heels off the ground, I'm hitting the ball, I equally don't want to be too far away. Simple as that. So if, if you look now, my ability to get the club in the fingers, really easy. I'm not going to contort my hand like I did before, kind of straighten the fingers. Now, of course, you could still leave the face open. What we're doing here is we're improving our relationship between our hands and the club. We're also improving our release pattern to reduce the likelihood. Like two and a half degrees at the start of the video was probably your best case scenario ever. We're looking at more like six or seven, maybe even eight degrees to the right. So eight degrees with our face pointing out this way on what we would see. Right, here we go. Let's hit this one away. So keep the relationship, I would just walk in, over, relationship, fingers, dead easy. Now that grip, that's really gonna help you get the grip on nailed. Oh, I don't think I can hit a drive any better than that. That was absolutely ripped. Look at the difference in this, 0 0.2. 
I'm taking that as practically zero. Uh, 0 0.2, I am taking that as practically zero, guys. You let me off with that, won't you? <laughs> now, the final point is this, right? We've mentioned slice is really upright, but if you hook, right, I tend to see people, one, we know we can get it really in the fingers, but if our toe's really off the ground, our wrist more likely can get into the shot, more wristy through impact. The more wristy we are, the more likely our face is gonna be closed to our path, and that's gonna create those big hooks. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell, which is next to that subscribe button, and hit the thumbs up button too. I can't wait to help you play your best golf.